Hello everyone, the Nord Medic here and you are watching Animated Biology with Arpan. So in this video of Biomedicine series, we will learn about an investigation known as mammography. So mammography is a technique used to visualize the breast tissue and helps us to detect lesions such as the breast cancer. Now mammography is a very non-invasive technique and it utilizes low dose x-rays. Now how mammography works? Now when you go to a mammography clinic, a mammography unit is used for breast and has specialized accessories to limit the x-ray exposure to the breast only. And a machine has a feature which holds and compresses breasts into different angles and positions so that the technician can capture images of the breast in different angles. And this allows to breast assume a uniform thickness and gets a clear cut picture. Now let us understand how x-rays are used in mammography. Now in a conventional x-ray we have a x-ray tube where from a cathode we fire fast electrons towards an anode and that electrons when hit the anode release x-rays. In mammography also we utilize a similar mechanism but how we generate low dose x-rays is by means of using a molybdenum anode. Now let us understand what are the views of a mammography. Based on compression of the breast tissue we can have two sorts of view. One is known as a craniocaudal view also known as CC view and another one is a mediolateral oblique view, also known as MLO view. Now, in craniocaudal view, the X-ray beam travels from the cranial, that is head end, to the caudal, that is tail end. And in case of a MLO view, the X-ray beam travels from medial to lateral in an oblique fashion. Now, in craniocaudal view, the image obtained somehow looks like this. Now, in this, you can clearly make out the contour of the breast, the skin overlying the breast, the nipple areola complex, and also you can beautifully see the lactiferous ductular systems of the breast. In mediolateral oblique view, in addition to the contour of the breast, the nipple areola complex and the lactiferous ductular system, you can see another structure which is the pectoralis muscles. Now why it is important to look for the pectoralis muscles, we will come to that in a bit. Now let us see how mammography is used to study breast cancers. Now in a craniocaudal view, on the left hand side we have the normal breast. On the other hand, on the right hand side we have a breast which shows a dense irregular mass and signs of microcalcification. These two findings are very characteristic of, of breast cancer. On the other hand, if we take an MLO view, on the left hand side we have the normal MLO view but on the right hand side in addition to the dense irregular mass we can see that along the pectoralis muscles we have certain masses and these masses represent the axillary lymph node. Now involvement of axillary lymph node in a breast cancer can help in the staging and grading of the breast cancer. So it is very important to look for axillary lymph nodes and visualization of the pectoralis muscle helps us to find and look for axillary lymph nodes in a mammography and this is the importance of seeing a pectoralis muscle and the use of MLO view. By now I believe you have understood the basic concepts of a mammography. Now mammography is a very useful tool for screening of breast cancer and it can detect presence of a breast cancer as early as 3 years before the lump can be palpated on the breast. So I believe you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video please hit the like button, share this video among your friends and peers of your medical school and by any chance if you are new to the channel please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you never ever miss a video from our channel. Also for high quality notes and flashcards. Follow our Instagram page Animated Biology with Arpan, the link will be in the description below. And you can also support our channel so that we can continue to create high quality educational content for free by contributing to our, us in the Patreon page. Also you can utilize the super thanks icon to support our channel which you can find in the bottom right corner of the video. In the super thanks you can contribute using Paytm, Paypal or UPI. Now if you want to get in touch with Arpan. The links will be given in the description box below and also for medicine related content you can follow me the nerd medic on my youtube channel and you can also get in touch with me via the following social media handle links. Until then bye bye see you in the next one.